Hi there, this is Marha Dad here. In uh, this uh, video, I just want to show you how you can do the deauthentication attacks to the clients who are connected to the wireless, which means that, for example, in case you have a, uh, an access point and uh, on this access point, there are many stations connected to this access point. So we have to discover which of the stations are connected to this access point. And then we can do what is called the deauthentication attacks. That means the station which is, for example, a phone, or it can be also another microtech router acting as a station, can be de-authenticated from the access point. Then it cannot connect anymore to the access point. So as you can see here, the lab is for five points. But before I start doing this lab, I would like to go to the network scenario to explain to you what we need to do. Then we will come back to the points and start doing that. So this is our network scenario. I have here a microtech router, which is acting as an access point. It is propagating the wireless. And then I have this phone, which is connected to this access point. So the phone is now connected to the access point and it can go to the internet. Now, I do have also here a machine, which is Kali Linux. Kali Linux machine is actually a PC, which has an operating system called Kali Linux from where I want to do the attack. So at the end, what I need to do is that on this Kali Linux, I want to make the uh, interface, which is the WLAN, the WLAN interface of this Kali Linux to work as monitor mode. Monitor mode, that means it can see not only the wireless which is connected to it, but it can see the all wireless which are in the area. So it can uh, see what are the wireless uh, access points there are, and also it can see the stations. So after I make it monitor mode, what I'm going to do, then I know what is this access point over here, then I can check on it to see which of the stations are connected to this access point. And then after that, we'll see that it will see this station which is this phone and then once it knows this phone then it knows this mac address for this one and it knows the mac address of this one then it can on the Kalinux we can uh, run the attack which is uh, we call it the deauthentication attack which means that this Kalinux will say i am the mac address of this phone so he will say he will pre pretend himself as the mac address of this phone because you know the mac address of this phone so we say i am the phone and i'm sending you that means i'm sending you to the access point to say i want to de-authenticate from you then the access point will check we see oh this mac address i know it it's for the phone then it will de-authenticate but then at the same time this kali linux because also he know the uh, mac address of this access point it will say to the phone that you are de-authenticated. And then in this case, you will see directly that this phone will be de-authenticated. It will not be connected to the wireless anymore. And uh, that's uh, something I just uh, showed you in the uh, course of the Microtech uh, Wireless Engineers with Lab, that in case you have here another Microtech router working as a station, you can uh, make uh, the configuration needed, which is called the uh, management protection and then if there is any type of this uh, attack which is the authentication then this will remain connected then it will not be the authenticated but i'm just showing you now on the phone because i have my phone with me now so i'm going to show you the steps how this happens so the, i'm going to show you actually the attack i'm going to do the attack to show you how this happens and then at the end we will see that the phone is going to be disconnected now before i start doing the lab i just want to show you if i go to the microtech router and over here, actually, this one, this MAC address, which finished by 08, is my phone. And if you want, I can just take now my phone directly and I will disable the wireless. Look, it has directly gone because I disabled the wireless on the phone. If I put it back, so I'm now uh, trying to connect to the wireless again, then you see inside the registration table that this 08 will be shown up again. So remember that this is the MAC address of uh, my phone. And uh, also remember that this is the MAC address of uh, the access point, which finished by E7, because we have to discover that on Kali Linux, and I will show you how the deauthentication attacks happen. So now let's go back to the points and start doing the lab. Point number one on Kali Linux, check what is the mode on your wireless interface. So if we go to now Kali Linux, we'll put the password, and then we go inside of it. So uh, I have this uh, application called the uh, Terminator, or also you can use the terminal. So no problem, we can use any of those. So this is the application. If I say now on Kali Linux, if config, we will see that uh, we have uh, Ethernet 0, we have the loopback uh, interface, and we have the WLAN, that's the 
interface, uh, which is the wireless. Actually, for the Kali Linux to work uh, on the wireless, you should have a, a stick, which is wireless stick. So just a USB stick, you have to put it on your computer, and then you can make this uh, wireless uh, to be uh, monitor mode. Because uh, it doesn't uh, work with the integrated uh, wireless, which is on your computer. In case you have a network card wireless on your computer, it doesn't work. You just need to have an external USB stick. And also, you have to check that this USB works also on monitor mode. So now we just see that we have uh, this uh, wireless interface. If I say iwconfig, we will see that the wireless uh, LAN, which is called WLAN0, it is now on the mode which is manage. What does it mean manage? Manage means that in case it is connected to the access point, it can only see that access point. It doesn't see any other wireless in uh, the environment. Okay, and I want to change this one to make it monitor so it can see all the wireless uh, that are on uh, the um, the area, but not only to see them, but also to uh, to gather all the traffic that uh, the, those uh, wireless access point are sending. Port number one is done. Port number two, change the mode to monitor mode. So we need to change the mode of the wireless to monitor mode because then we can, from the monitor mode, we can uh, check what access points are in the environment. Then we see the access point that we are trying to target to it. And then we will launch some uh, discovery on it to see which stations are inside the, this uh, access point. And then we know the MAC address of the phone and then we make the, the authentication attack. So how to change that? First of all, we need to go to uh, the root uh, here on the Kali. So let me just clear to go up. And then from here, one, if you want to change the mode to monitor, we have first to shut down the interface. So to do that, we have to say if config WLAN0, that's the name of the interface. And then we have to say down. So you see now this interface is down. If I say now uh, if config, we will not see it. You see, it's not showing up over there because it is down. And then we have to run the, this command, which is ng, and then we have to say check kill. That means it will kill everything which is uh, running on the network. So if you see now, if I go here and I show you that this is now showing up wired connected. All right. But if I do that one, because sometimes when we want to make it monitor, if we don't kill everything, then uh, the attack will not uh, work for us. So just uh, click enter and then now we will see that it will uh, drop everything. So you see here, and now if I go back here, you will not see anymore that it is connected wired. And now I'm cleared everything. And uh, what we need now to write is iwconfig wlan0. That's the name of the interface. And now we have to say the mode is monitor. So that's what we need to say. And then I click enter. So this is now on monitor mode. Now we need to put the interface up again. So we have to say if config and then wlan0 up. And now it should go up again. If I say if config, so we see the wlan is showing up over there, wlan0. And if I say iw config, and now we can see that now the mode is monitored. You see, the mode is monitored. Very good. So we have accomplished this mission. So that means that the wireless interface now, it is on monitor. And now what we can do, we can just make some discovery to see which access points are there and on those access points, which stations are there. And then we can make the attack on the station that we want to de-authenticate, which is my phone. Port number two is done. Point number three, check which wireless network are in your area. So which wireless networks? So let's do that. We go to Kali now and let's do clear. And now we have to use the air dump ng. So air, air dump ng, it's an, uh, here a, a application that we can use to be able to discover which of the wireless are in my network. So air dump ng, and then I will say WLAN zero, and then I'll click enter. So here we go. It started showing up. So this one is really the access point that my phone is connected to it, which is called Microtech Home. And this one is my home uh, wireless that I provide internet to everyone here. So you can see that um, it is here saying that this is the MAC address of the access point. So that's first thing we very important for us. We know that the MAC address of the access point, which is the BSS ID. Now the power is minus 20. So that's a power signal. And here it's showing up some beacons, the data. And here we know also that it is using the WPA2 as encryption and PSK as authentication. So those information are very valuable in case we want to do some attack to de-authenticate. All right. So now 
we know the most important that this is the one and this is here the MAC address. So now we know that one, we can now start making the uh, discovery to see which station are connected to this SSID, which is MyCritic Home. Let's stop this one. Point number three is done. Point number four, check which station are associated to your wireless access point. Very good. So let's go to Kali Linux again. And now what I need to do here, I have to rewrite again, arrow dump ng. And then here I have to say that I want to check the on the minus minus BSS ID. So I take this is my critic home. So I'm saying that I want to check on this access point, which has this MAC address. So let's paste it. And then I'll say minus minus channel, which is running on channel nine. You can see it's here. CH, it is running on channel nine. So I want to check on uh, this one, which uh, the stations are running. And then I will say here at the end, WLAN zero. So here I have to say WLAN zero, not with a space, and then I click enter. So here we go. Directly, it's starting now checking in uh, this uh, BSS ID, which is the access point that I'm using. It's showing me which of the stations are connected. And you can see the one which finished by 08 is the one that I told you is my phone. And there is another station also. So now it knows that uh, on uh, this BSS ID, there are two stations, which is my phone and another one. Now I need to make the deauthentication attack. So my phone is being deauthenticated from this wireless. And that's something I'm going to show you to you how to happen in the upcoming point. Let's stop this one. Point number four is done. Point number five, make the deauthentication attack so your phone get deauthenticated from the wireless. Okay, let's open again the Kali Linux. And now we know the uh, MAC address of the access point, the MAC address of the station, we can start running the deauthentication attack. So to do the deauthentication attack, we have to use the AirPlay, should we with the E, AirPlay and G. And then I will make minus minus deauthentication. And then over here, we have to say how many packets it's going to be sent. Remember, now the Kali Linux, which is the attacker, has to send packets to the access point to say that I want to de-authenticate from you as a phone. And then he has to send again to the phone. So here you can say how many packets. Let's do it small, because if you make it long, then it will always be the authenticating the phone. So if you make it 10,000, so it means it will keep sending the packets all the time, then the phone will never be authenticated to the access point. But I just want to show it to you that if I make it just very small, then after this is finished, then the phone can get authenticated again. So minus minus the, the authentication and then number four. And then I have to say minus A, and I will take now the MAC address of the access point, which is this one, and then I will paste it here. And then I will say minus C, and I will take the MAC address of the phone now, which is 08, and I paste it here. And at the end, we have to say WLAN 0. So this is the command, AirPlay NG, minus minus, deauthenticate, four packets, minus A, which is the MAC address of the access point, minus C, the MAC address of the phone, and then WLAN 0. But before I do this uh, attack, let me just... Uh, open here the uh, MyCritic router just to show you that once I click on it then you will see that this one get the authenticated let's move it somehow to be small like this so now we can see side by side so you see that here it's showing up for me that uh, this one is still showing here and this is the comment I didn't click enter let's click enter so you can see directly it got the authenticated directly you see that you don't see anymore the phone showing up over here and in a moment because we just made it let's open this to be big again we know now that it got deauthenticated and now it is has stopped so let's make clear to go back to here and uh, let's go to the microtech router to see if the phone is authenticated again i will open my phone now to see what's happening here if i can authenticate again to MyCritic Home. So I see that it's trying now to connect and it is connecting now. And uh, in a moment we should see it also on the, here we go, it's authenticated now. So you can see it's now authenticated again and you see it over here. So you see that once we run the uh, attack, it was deauthenticated, but after we finish the attack, it is authenticated again. If you want, we can try it one more time just for fun. So again, AirPlay, Angie, Death, 
die authenticate for minus a the access point mac address minus c the station mac address wlan0 enter and uh, here we go so now if i go to the access point again we will see that it's gone it's not showing up over here and in a moment once it is uh, because we only sent four packets so it will take something like one minute to get authenticated then we shall see it again on the uh, router so let's wait a little bit to see once it is connected to the router again so now we can see that it is authenticated again and it's shown up so if you want that uh, this uh, station will never get uh, authenticated or will stay long to not get authenticated what you can do you can just make here the package to be much longer so you can do it something like this then the package will keep sending sending and your phone will at the end not get authenticated once this is uh, finished so uh, the only way to get the authenticate again is just to stop this uh, attack then he can get authenticated point number five is done and uh, with this point i just showed you how you can uh, do the de-authentication attack using the kali linux now on microtech that's what i was explaining on uh, the chapter that uh, on microtech here you can have something called if you go to the wireless and if you go to the security profile what you can do you can use the management protection and that's what i explained in the lecture that uh, here if you make it here required on both sides on the station on the on the access point in case someone run over you a deauthentication uh, attack to deauthenticate the microtech station then this will not affect the link and the link will be always connected so that's the, this the reason of doing this lecture to show you how the deauthentication attack happen and how you can secure in case you have point to point links for example between one access point and the station then you can use the uh, protection uh, management uh, key that i showed you and then in this case you will not get the authenticated from the deauthentication attack so this is what i wanted to show you in this video i hope it was informative for you and i will see you in the other videos